everybody. Welcome to day 36, Joy to the World, our Advent readings. Today is Sunday, January 3rd. It is the 10th day of Christmas. Uh, this is what we would call Epiphany Sunday. Uh, I'm going to read to you uh, from the book of Revelation 21, verses 1 through 4. And then I saw a new heaven and a new earth, for the first heaven and the first earth had passed away, and there was no longer any sea. I saw the holy city, the new Jerusalem, coming down out of heaven from God, prepared as a bride, beautifully dressed for her husband. And I heard a loud voice from the throne saying, look, God's dwelling place is now among the people, and he will dwell with them. They will be his people, and God himself will be with them and be their God. He will wipe away every tear from their eyes. There will be no more death or mourning or crying or pain, for the old order of things has passed away. Jesus was born to be the Savior of mankind. And salvation is present for all who believe now that Jesus has risen from the grave and ascended to heaven. However, Jesus is not done. There will be a second coming. We should be looking forward to the second coming and preparing for it the same way we prepare each year for the celebration of his birth. This new heaven and this new earth will be without death, mourning, crying, pain. All things will be made new. Allow yourself today to understand that there is hope to be found in what is coming. If we are willing to celebrate Jesus' birth, remembering Jesus' death and resurrection, then we should be willing to hope and celebrate in what is to come. Friends, pray with me. The second Sunday after Christmas from the Book of Common Prayer. O oh God, who wonderfully created and yet more wonderfully restored the dignity of human nature, grant that we may share the divine life of him who humbled himself to share our humanity, your Son, Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Friends, have a great Epiphany Sunday. We've got a few days left to get us to the actual Epiphany, which is January 6th. Stay tuned and stay close. We're almost there.